I work at Protocol Labs on a project called Launchpad, and I am here to talk to you today about how to get hired in the IPFS ecosystem. I have the best news. IPFS is all over the web. Uh, things such as Brave is using it, MetaMask. Uh, you can also work, you can work on IPFS at the Internet Archives. Uh, so really, it's kind of one of those things that once you see, you kind of can't unsee. And there are thousands and thousands of jobs out there where you get to work with really cool technology to make the web more and more de decentralized, even if that's in a Web2 company, which is super cool. Uh, the ecosystem, folks that are actively building on top of IPFS is always growing. Uh, we have over 450 network partners uh, in the Protocol Labs network. Those are folks that are building on top of our technology. They are building on IPFS, libp2p. They are building on Filecoin. And when you think about that, those are, again, we're talking thousands of jobs out there uh, for you all to hopefully get hired and work on this cool technical stack. So how does this work? You know IPFS is everywhere. You now can't unsee it. And you also know that you want a job working with this technology. Well, there's no right or wrong way in how to get hired. Whether you have experience as a community manager, whether you have Rust experience, you're a dev advocate, there are hundreds in, of ways that you can end up working on this technology. One thing that is absolutely amazing and inspiring about the folks that I see working on IPFS is they come from all different backgrounds. One of my coworkers who is one of the maintainers of IPFS, the reason he got hired was because he consistently was contributing to GitHub as an open source contributor and we were finally like, hey, do you wanna come work here? You should come work here. Uh, other folks have started working here because they had a startup where they were building off of our tech and then they ended up here, like Bakiao. Um, other folks have gotten hired simply because they were really excited about some of our new technology, like FVM. Ways that you can get hired uh, outside of this are also, also includes doing Launchpad or the Radius FVM Fellowship, which, by the way, shameless plug, uh, that starts on the 14th of November, so definitely apply. If you are a builder who is excited about FVM, uh, do the fellowship where they will be really teaching how to work with that technology. Uh, and then it's tied into our grants program, which I know Aaron talked about earlier. Oh, okay. Uh, I had more slides, but I'll talk about this instead. Uh, all right, so I work on Launchpad, which is a hiring and onboarding program, knowing that there are over 450 network partners with tons of open roles. Uh, Launchpad is here to help folks, uh, technical talent specifically, hire, train, and then match to those open roles. Uh, we've had over 21 of our network partners use Launchpad as an onboarding program for their teams. And it's really designed for folks that are coming from Web2, maybe you're a developer who's in the Web2 world, you haven't really worked with this technology before, you're super excited to be building in this ecosystem, you can come and work on IPFS. Um, through Launchpad, and we will teach you all of the cool technology and how to use that and interact with that. Uh, we've had over 200 residents do Launchpad. It's a six-week program. Uh, the first couple of weeks are dedicated to deep learning, and even if you are already in this ecosystem, I have someone in the program right now who's been a researcher for several years uh, with uh, our projects, and what he's doing right now is actually like going through the program and learning about the other technology that he hasn't gotten a chance to learn. Uh, so he's done a lot of work with Kademlia, but now he's getting to learn about Filecoin and he's doing that through Launchpad. Uh, the other way that you can join Launchpad is get hired uh, with one of our network partners or become one of our network partners. We're here to serve the network. We're here to really promote a culture of doing in Web3 and getting folks used to working on our technical stack. Uh, and that you can also enter into Launchpad as well. And some of you here, I know, were previous Launchpad residents, so it's great to see you all as well. Other ways that you can get involved in the IPFS ecosystem, uh, start with open source contributions. 
uh, even if it's you know going through our repos, getting more and more used to it, you're gonna wanna start with that. Uh, on this link tree is a link to a blog post about how to get started uh, in Web3 and working in the IPFS ecosystem. There's also a link to joining Launchpad and a link to uh, getting more involved in the community as well.